All right. <clears throat> Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters and sojourners of Israel. This is Dr. Yehoshua Ben Ephraim. And as normal, I send uh, peace and blessings to the brother Shemuel for leading the Shabbat, Shabbat prayer uh, for this service. Uh, now, today's topic, you know, um, we're going to deal with uh, the children of, of, of God should not use profanity or, or profane words as a child of God. In other words, let not filthy communication come out of your mouth. Now, <clears throat> uh, there's a couple different uh, parts to this that I want to I want to deal with this from on this sermon today. Um, now I know that as human beings, you know we're all we all for, fall short of the glory, and you know we all have sinned. You know I get it. You know the Bible says that uh, uh, we must pray without ceasing. We sin every day, so um, we must pray without ceasing. And so since we sin it, sin every day, quite naturally we should do what? Repent every day. So me personally, I do a combination of the sinner's prayer. Um, but a few other things and made it my own. I make my made my own uh, sentence prayer that I do uh, pretty much daily. Um, so something to keep in mind, uh, congregation, that when you know we 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 sin daily, so we should repent uh, daily. I mean, it makes sense, right? So now, as far as this as this as this this sermon today, um, and I've had the, I've had this in my mind to do this for for a while now, okay. And I want you to get your spiritual swords, remember KJV. And we're going to turn to Genesis 1 and 27. That's where we're going to start. Genesis 1 and 27. And it says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. So, and the reason why I started there because rather you believe that scripture to be literal that God created man in his own image or you believe it to be uh, uh, symbolic right or allegorical however you view that scripture and verse the bottom line is this the Most High created us in his image we are uh, inclined to be as he so if he made us in his image then what should we be? Well, First Peter 1 and 15 through 16 says, But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversations, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Huh? So, we are commanded, since the Most High made us in his image, we are commanded to be as he, which he, and he is what? holy so he says because I am holy so be ye holy see that's the foundation for today's sermon today and I understand we get mad we get upset you know people get us all we know we want to act unseemly this and that 
But if you if you if you call yourself a child of God, not even talking about a so-called leader of God's children, you cannot let vain, profane words come out of your mouth. Period. I mean, it's almost a joke to call yourself a child of God or a man of God and you out there using all kind of filthy language, all kind of curses and, 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 and coming out your mouth. You, it's a shame before God. And you need to be ashamed. Okay? Ain't nothing holy about somebody uh, saying a whole bunch of cuss words talking about they're a man or, or, or a child of God. You need to repent. Okay? And you need to know how to, how to talk to people. Right? Colossians 4 and 6 says, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how to answer every man. It didn't say just the children of Israel. No. So that you may know how to answer every man. Okay? Being respectful, mindful. Because there's, there's, there's nothing you can say, anyone can say against what I'm, what I'm teaching and preaching today. You cannot call yourself a child or man or a woman of God and have all kind of filthy communication and cuss words coming out your mouth. The nastiest, just, just most profane things coming out your mouth. It's a joke. You ain't no, that ain't no man of God. You a man of Satan. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't no man of God. Knock it off. And I'm rebuking you because the Bible tells us open rebuke is better than secret love. <laughs> okay? So you can get mad. But, it's, but but what I tell you, we gonna we gonna go with the, what the words say, right? It ain't about what Doctor Ephraim talking about, what I feel or what I think. Oh no, 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 no. We gonna let the Bible speak, right? We the Torah keepers. We are the children of the Most High God, and we got plenty of stuff. We 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 know what to do, but we have to apply it. See, Ephesians four and twenty nine says, "Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth." But that which is good to you to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Huh? And don't get no more direct than that. It's telling us directly to let no filthy communication proceed out of our mouth. I mean, how can you call I, I don't care and I want you as 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 children of Israel, I want you to start calling these so called men and women of God out. On, all, on, on, on them using all these profane words and these profanities and, and, and you know I want you to start calling them out openly rebuke them don't fear them, don't care what they call themselves or what, they, what their so called title is or whatever the case may be, it's a joke and I don't care if they like what I'm saying it's tight but it's right <laughs> that's right, I stand on what the words say okay let's see here, we're going to go with uh but I shall say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof on the day of judgment. Now, y'all better listen to what I just said. Let me say it one more time. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an account on the day of judgment. So when you, while you out there talking about, oh, you call yourself a teacher of, uh, or, or, or a leader of, of the Most High God, and you saying a bunch of curses and profanities out of your mouth, talking about you trying to teach somebody something, and you gonna have to you gonna have to answer for that, okay? And in, in, in the spirit of the prophet Ezekiel, you better repent or be destroyed, okay? Because we got to go by go by what thus said the Lord of Hosts. Period. Point blank. All right. And we are commanded to let no filthiness or foolish talking come out of our mouth. Period. Be respectful of people. Be respectful, respectful of all men, of all women. Because if we are made in the image of God, we have to be what God is to the best of our ability. Now, we know we can't walk away. We, we can't be God. But if we are made in the image of God, we have to try our best to be what he is. And, and God commands us, says, I am holy, so be ye holy that's the foundation that's the foundation for which we should live every waking day of our life strive for that okay that's one thing I learned as a as a as a as a practicing Muslim back in the day we're not perfect but we're supposed to strive for perfection every day 
That's a concept that any man could follow, could, 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 could embrace right there. No, we're not perfect. Sure, the Bible says, for all have short, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory, no doubt. But that shouldn't stop you from, from, from making every effort and attempt to be perfect. Strive, right? Strive for perfection. Okay, because Proverbs 21 and 23 says, Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from troubles. Right? And be mindful. Because James 1 and 26 says, If any man among you <laughs> call itself religious and bridleth not his tongue, deceiveth his own heart, then your religion is vain. Now let me break that down to you in case any of you might be confused by what that scripture and verse said. So you can, you call yourself preaching and teaching, but are you saying a bunch of profanities and filthiness out of your mouth? Everything you so-called teaching is in vain. Period. So you might as well not even be teaching. You're wasting your time and you're wasting the time of the children of Israel because your teaching is in vain. You can't be a representative or call yourself a representative of the most high God the most, the holiest of all holies with a bunch of filthy, nasty communication, cursing coming out of your mouth. I rebuke that spirit. Send it back to the pits of hell from whence it came. And I don't care who like it. It's tight, but it's right. I get mad. Hell, I'm human. We all human. I get mad. You don't think I want to cuss fools out? <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it real with you. Man, I think about it every day. All right? I think about it every day. But I don't say it. No, I don't let no filthy, uh, profane stuff come out of my mouth. Because out of abundance of the heart, the, uh, the, 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 of the, um, what's, let, me get, let me get to the verse. Uh, I want to get it right. Uh, I'm going to get this scripture right. Y'all give me one second. I got to find it real quick. It says, a good Luke. 6 and 45, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. For the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. Ha! There you go. Out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. So even though, yeah, I have ideas, you know, fools, I mean, these devils, these trolls, yeah, they get you mad. They want to get you out of, your, you know, get you all out of, out, of, out, of, out of character and everything. But as a, as a, a leader, a so-called leader of, of the Most High God, you can't let the devil win. You can't let the devil tempt you. I don't care how angry you get. Because the Bible also says what? To be angry, but sin not. And we know that that's difficult, right? But who said it was easy? As children of the Most High God, as children of Israel, if we want to be that beacon of light, then it takes discipline. That striving every day for perfection, even though we fall short. Yeah, we all have sinned and fall short of glory. I tell you all the time, I raise my hand first. I'm the leader of this congregation. I'm the leader of this E1B1A e movement. But guess what? I need every one of you to pray for me. Stand with me. Huh? I ain't no better or different. The man of God, the, 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 the leader, still needs to be prayed for. And that's what the word tells us. Well, we got to keep our... Uh, our tongues from uh, you know coming with these iniquities right and these profanities so when you when you get to that point where you feel someone is, is, is leading you out of out of your your yourself or your you're trying to get you in your flesh or whatever the case may be recite Psalm 141 3 and 4 says set a watch O Lord before my mouth keep the door of my lips Incline not my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. And that's Psalm 141, 3 through 4. Oh, because men will take you there. <laughs> you got to tell me, I know. And women, they'll, they'll take you there. Them devils, man, they get on your nerve and you know, they get to talking trash and, and this and that, but you got you to gotta be above that. You know, it's tight, but it's right. Okay? We can't be conformed to this world. And that's true. All right? We have to be better than that. We have to be bigger than that. We have to be disciplined. In order to be that beacon, we have to be an example. And how do we be, how, how, how are we an example? 
by doing what thus said the Lord, by doing what the law, statutes, and commandments say, by doing what the word of Yah says. Don't get it twisted. God angers. Christ angers. Remember Christ went in there and, you know, threw over the money, the change machines and all that, the money machine, you know, the money changes and all that. And he got mad. Y'all made my, my father's house a house of thieves. You know, paraphrase. But how Christ got mad. Anger is a human emotion. The most high is slow to anger, but the most high angers. And my grandma used to say, you do not want to fall in the hands of an angry God. <laughs> Okay, so in that case, we have to do what we're supposed to do as the children of the Most High God. And when we fall short, and I touched on this last week, what does the Most High do? It said, whom, he, the, whom God loves, he corrects. And when you're wrong, you can't despise correction. you got to humble yourself. Okay, you got to humble yourself repent and repent. Repent before God, repent before the congregation, because no one is above reproach. And I touched on that before. No man is above reproach. Last I checked, when, when the scripture that says, for all have sinned and fall short of glory, that means that every single living, breathing soul, everybody falls short. And we sin. Some a little more than others. <laughs> but we sin. And we got to come from that. Okay, and we got to get past this flesh stuff, getting mad and letting people get us out, you know, get, get us to act all seem, unseemly. We got to be bigger than that. And let not no filthy communication come out of our mouth. And I want y'all to share this video, share this sermon, share it, please. All over social media. So, so the children of Israel can hear, this is how it's supposed to be. This is how you speak to the children of Israel. Okay? And I'm not calling no particular person or no specific group or anything like that out. Because all, all my brothers out there who's doing their thing, whatever the case may be, I don't agree with all of them, but they're still my brothers. Okay? It's just like when you're coming up and, you know, you're getting mad at your siblings. You know, you're getting mad at them or whatever the case may be, but they're still your brother. They're still your sister. You still love them, even though you ain't feeling them right now. Or they're they doing something you, ain't, you, ain't, you don't agree with. Okay? I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to, you know, they're still my brother. So, I want everybody to get this, though. Because we got to come from that. You're not no man of God using a bunch of cursing and saying, saying a bunch of filthy stuff coming out of your mouth. You're not no man of God. I rebuke that spirit, and I, I, and, I, and I, and I, and I, you know, I come against that vehemently. I, I, you know, I cast that down. Period, point blank. And each and every one of you should do the exact same thing. Okay, I touched on this last week. No, it ain't easy. Being a child of Israel, <laughs> no. That's why the Most High said only a remnant is going to return unto Him. It ain't easy. But He knows our heart. Right. And that's why he did, the, the Bible tells us that the, the Most High judges us by the intentions of our heart. Because we're not going to always get everything right, brothers and sisters. We're not going to always get it right. Okay? We, we, you know, we make mistakes, man. We're human. We fall short. But if, if it, but if it's the intention of your heart to do right, to do good and not evil, then the Most High, he honors that. See, man, man judges us by, our, by what we do. <laughs> That's why the Bible tells us that, that, that God's ways are not our ways, and our ways are not his ways, his thoughts are not our thoughts. He don't think like us. Because if God thought like us, there wouldn't be no humans left. <laughs> okay, I mean, let's, let's just let's keep it 100. He, you know, he lets us try to work things out. You know, because that's why he gave us free will. And you know, with, that, with that comes a lot of responsibility when you got that free will. All right? So for the most part, he lets us try to work things out. But we don't always get it right still. All right, but that's what he does, and that's what separates him from us. So now we're not perfect; we fall short, all that. But that should not stop each and every one of you every day striving for perfection. And that starts with trying to be as much like the Most High as we can, humanly possible, because we are commanded to. And ain't nobody can't nobody give me a scripture verse that goes against the scripture verse I gave you by saying, For I am holy, so be ye holy. That 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 takes care of everything. There's no scripture against that. 
Because the Bible also tells us there's no wisdom, no understanding, no counsel against the Lord. And that scripture says it all. Okay, that, that, that's our foundation right there. We made in his image, right? Okay. Rather you take that literal or figuratively. We, so we have to be as much like him as we can every waking day of our life. And guess what? We, because he, he's graceful and he's most merciful, when we fall short, repent. Repent. Humble yourself and repent. So, that, you know, God, I'm, I'm, I'm weak. My flesh is weak. I'm, I'm flesh and bones. And I'm a sinner. But I'm your child. And I come to you as humbly as a child and ask your forgiveness and I repent of all my sins seen and unseen I denounce them all all right and make make makes you know like let's put a couple of them together you know say have your own sinners prayer your own repentance prayer something that you can remember and you can do it every day rather than you know I mean I do it in my car because that's the that's the most perfect place to do it just as I'm getting ready to go somewhere I do my sinners prayer in my car that's what I do that's right and I commit my spirit and my soul to the Most High. Well, God forbid if I'm ever in an accident, something happens to me, Dr. Ephraim is good. I love y'all. Just remember that. I did all I did because I love y'all. Okay? So, um, brothers and sisters, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this sermon up. I just wanted to hammer the point home. I didn't want to, you know, um, to overdo it, but I think I got the message. And as always, you, you know, you all can can rewind it less. I mean, to, you know, play it back, whatever the case may be, once I upload the sermon for uh, today's Shabbat. So until next time, this is Dr. Ephraim signing, up, signing off, saying Shalom, elect, Ahaya by Hashem, Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch Adonai, for now and forever. Shalom, elect.